What is going on Garage Couple fans? On today's episode, we're gonna show you how to go from this to adding one of these. This is a rear light bar and we're gonna go ahead and add it back over here. In a previous video, we went ahead and we showed you how to wire in a strobing third brake light with a license plate light on our DV8 tire carrier. Now, we're gonna go ahead and replace it with one of these. Stay tuned to see how we do it and make sure to subscribe for more amazing content. As always, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you like what you see. This DIY is gonna be very easy to install. We're just gonna be using simple hand tools like my stripper and my crimper. The link is in the bio if you have any questions about any of the materials we're using or bracket and stuff we're using today. So let's get started. Why don't you cut that temporary zip tie? Out with the O. Liberating, isn't it? <laughs> While you do that, I'm gonna remove the license plate light. The license plate itself. Time to cut out the old third brake light. Now this is connected to the strobe module, not anymore. And time to cut out the old license plate light. Here is a, a bunch of extra cord. And right over here, we can do the same thing. Boom. And now we have, we have our wire. So this is for the license plate light. Let's keep it on this side. And this is for the third brake light. We'll keep it on this side. So we're gonna run another wire for the rear light bar. And so we're gonna run another wire for the rear light bar. Got it. And so we're gonna run oh another wire God. for the rear light bar. Good work, Bob. Good work. Okay. There. This is the module. Yep. This is the brake light. Okay. Cool beans. Let's get this job done. What's going on? Alrighty, guys. So we're gonna be using JB Weld to weld on my license plate light. So mixing it over here. So while she's doing that, I'll talk about the license plate light we went with. This is a super bright LED strip that we're gonna, like she said, JB Weld right over there and go from there. The link to that, as well as this awesome light bar for the rear is in the description below. Another thing, the light bar is partially spot, partially flood. So it should give us good, good visibility while reversing in the evening or just going in the rear direction. Ow. <laughs> so I'm gonna use my finger instead just because it's a flat surface. So I gave her a screw earlier as she was struggling. Okay, so as I would. <laughs> nice. And since it's super lightweight, we don't need a whole lot. Just get good, decent coverage. Perfect. And now just press it into place. Okay. Make sure the wires face the same direction and just and it's almost like it was made for it. Here, let me help you out there. Let's push it straight down as center as possible. Centered to me. And try not to push too hard because you'll break the LED. And of course, before we did this, we wiped down the surface to get rid of any dust. And now we're gonna probably just tape it into place so we can keep working. Yeah. Awesome job. So these are the lights we ended up going with for our brake lights. We're gonna have two of them, and I found ones that exactly fit into the pre-drilled holes onto the bracket, even with a hole down the middle for the wire to come out. Now these are marine grade lights with the rubber back, so they're pretty watertight. So let's go ahead and screw these in using some screws and bolts that we have at home. So the JB Weld has dried for that license plate light over there and we also attached both of our brake lights using just screws around the house <laughs> just to show you. We basically had to dig through stuff like this to find it but you know what? Save the trip to the hardware store and we're totally fine with it. So now we're going to attach the license plate to it and as you can see all the wires coming out of the back. We're going to install the, lic uh, the license plate to it and then connect it to the Jeep. So let's go ahead and do that now. I'm not going to redefine the wheel here. We already uh, had two screws so we're going to just use that now. So it's 
all bolted on. You want to scoot a sec, babe? Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> Sick. These are the two brake lights over here. Gonna connect it to the, what we had initially connected to the strober. So our brakes go ahead and flash. Next, this, this one over here is for our license plate light. So we're gonna connect that to the license plate light wire, wires, which are right over here. And last but not least, we're gonna run the light bar wires all the way to the front where the battery is. What we decided to do is disconnect our rock light wires and we're gonna connect this to our rock light wires instead. And we're gonna, we have something in store for you. We're eventually gonna change our rock lights so we're not gonna need those wires anymore. So it should be a pretty straightforward. Roughly, I mean, if we didn't have to record this, it would be a lot faster, but we're happy, we love showing off these uh, cool mods and cool features. I've never seen another Wrangler with one of these on before. And I just think that it's a nice all-in-one system, license plate light, brake light, rear light bar, all in one. And I think it just looks super clean. So stay tuned to see me wire everything up. Went ahead and crimp connected the brake lights, red to red, black to black, double crimps. These are waterproof crimp connectors. I will heat shrink them now. Let's take a look to see how the brake light looks. Could you do me a favor and hit the brakes? So now we should have license plate light as well. And all that is left is a light bar. Fun stuff. Let's check it out. And there it is. Wow. Wow. Sick. <laughs> that looks incredible. And don't forget, that has blue tape over it. No, blue tape is gone, but it's daytime. But that's gorgeous. Oh, wow. Well. Look at how even you look at it. Awesome. Awesome. Using a torch lighter, I'm heat shrinking the crimp connector to make it more waterproof. And this stuff actually shrinks quite a bit. I'll drop the link for this torch lighter. Uh, we got it on Amazon. It's amazing. And then we're going to double duty it with electrical tape as well. Finishing it off with some tape. And now we are in business. <laughs> all right, I'm, this is all in department. Now it's just to wire it through everything. Ah. All righty, guys, we are just about done. The last thing we have to do is run the wire all the way up to the front and plug it in and clean up this hot mess in the back. All right? Sounds pretty simple. Let's do it. <laughs> it's like the Jeep version of Tetris. Tetris? What? I don't know. What game? <laughs> so we're pretty much just fishing this cable to follow the other cables so that it looks pretty neat in the backside. Don't want it to really show from the front. We have our trunk over here. Just pop off this panel. Just held in with some clips. And fish this wire through. Luckily, we've done this once before, so I have a rough outline of where I'm supposed to go. So this next part isn't as fun to show via recording, so I'm gonna just explain it here. We pass it through our trunk, and what we're gonna do is get it through our trim, down the trunk, and through the drain plug on the bottom. It's just a drain plug that comes with all these Wranglers. We're gonna make this go down through the bottom, across the frame, and front, all the way to the front of our battery. So we'll check back in with you when we're at our front of the battery. Alrighty, so we just fished it. I'm gonna show you all the way from over here. We went underneath from here, behind that dirt shield, all the way underneath that edge. And then it's kind of hard to find a gap from the bottom up, but there's a little gap in the corner. We fished it up from there, right over there. So while I do this part, I'm gonna just go ahead and connect this to our pre-existing wiring. Aline is gonna take the gimbal and she's gonna go ahead and tuck all of those wires neatly away with zip ties in the back so we get two things done at once. Great! So all right, here we go, my friends. Alrighty guys, so this is the end product. We fished it through the entire side of the car, connected up at the front. It's not a car Jeep. Starting over again, not gonna happen. Alrighty guys, so this is the end product. I absolutely love how it looks. I think it looks super sleek. 
As you can tell over here, there are no colored wires. What we decided to do is just spray paint them black. If I need to know which one is red and which one's black, we still left it colored in the back. It just looks a little bit more blended up here in the front. Um, let's give you a little bit of a show. Let's show you what these lights look like. Why don't we do this? Why don't you hit the brakes? Okay. And then after that, release the brakes. Oh, I guess I could tell. Let's see the license plate light, brakes, and rock lights. Lice, uh, brake lights. That's so cool. So cool. All right. Now let's get the license plate light on. Super bright, as you can see, projects to the floor. A little more saturated in the on the camera than in real life. I think it looks perfect, just like a new vehicle should look. Okay, let's get the rear light bar. I'm ready. Wowzers, that is so bright. Oh my goodness. I think that lights up the rear amazingly. Now, show me how you turn it on. Alrighty guys, so on the pillar we have these. They control all the lights in the front. This was our rock light one that we tapped into, replaced it with the backlight. So all you do, just turn it on. We also wired it so you don't have to have your car turned on if you want the lights on. As you can tell, it's on, the car's not running. And when the light's off, it means All right, off. well, and let's replace all those cars with Jeeps and act like it never happened. Great. All right, well, thank you all for watching. It has been an absolute blast filming this, and I hope that it helps you out while you wire in your tire carrier delete or with your DVA tire, uh, tire carrier. And make sure you subscribe to our channel. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button, and thanks. Check out our Instagram as well, at Garage Couple, on our daily life in the garage. Thank you.